guys, happy Thursday. What? Yes, we're vlogging one day early because last week I left you guys on the hook and I didn't vlog, but it was a good weekend. I told you guys in that, in the previous vlog, I was like, hey, I'm having all the kids. It's gonna be so much fun. We had a Mother's Day party. We had a birthday party. It was so much fun, but the best part, my kitchen is done. So I have someone in my car that I need to introduce you to. Now, I know I'm gonna hear hearts shatter across America, but it had to be done. It's about 85 degrees right now. It's not even summer yet. And he needed to let his face breathe, you guys. So just try to be kind, because I have this new boyfriend in the car. Look at that dreamy face. That's how I met him, so. <laughs> so Parker shaved his beard. That's gonna be the title of this vlog. <laughs> He's like, no attention, no attention, no more attention. Um, it was so sweet because he kept saying, I'm over the beard, I'm over the beard. And he actually grew it earlier in the year because I'm a fan. Um, he usually only has it around the colder months. Anyway, the whole point of this is to say, Parker doesn't have a beard, I don't have a second boyfriend, um, and he was so sweet because he waited for his three-year-old godson and my four-year-old to be together to shave in front of them so they would recognize him. <laughs> Isn't that precious? I was like, stop it, stop being so cute. So, <clears throat> Because we don't have kids right now, and it's a romantic, seductive Thursday afternoon, it's almost seven, uh, we decided to run errands because... It's uh, my fave. That's Love how I'm running the errands, my baby. We're running errands, and this errand is very special because we have to go to two different pet smarts because... My dogs are special needs. I feel like I need to tattoo that on my forehead. My dogs are special needs, or is it because I'm tan, or my boyfriend. <laughs> Those are like my three taglines. So they are on a special limited ingredient diet that um, I can only find at certain pet smarts. So we have to go to one to get the senior dogs, and then we have to go to another one to get Ernie's. It's a whole thing. It's kind of annoying. Do you guys like my nail polish? This is called hot sauce from Color Club. I thought it was really pretty. It's actually a red jelly. So that's why it looks kind of orangey because it's semi sheer, but I thought it was pretty. Anyway, we're going to PetSmart. Then we're going to another PetSmart and then we're gonna go on a romantic donut date. That's right. Donut. <laughs> So we ended up at a bar. I mean, it's it makes sense when you think about it. Like, you go on a romantic donut date, then you realize you're hungry, then you end up at a bar. Just follow my train of thought. This bar has food, um, and it's Thursday, so we're not gonna stay out late, right? Never. <laughs> um, this is what we do when we're both kidless after a week. It's like, what do we do? Falls out. So I'm drinking this. It's from a brand I've never heard of. It has a, it has a fish on it. And I think this is the first time I've, I've drank on my channel. Um, I was telling Parker, I can't describe the flavor of this beer to you. The only thing I can describe it as is the beer you would drink when you're cutting the lawn. <laughs> so if 
you wanted to know what my beer tastes like, that's all I got for you. Anyway, we're gonna eat pork rinds and a bunch of other British food, and then we're gonna go home. But when we get home, remind me, because I have to tell you or show you the dog food that I get and the donuts that we got, because we're still eating donuts, by the way. home and we're sober I guess that's bad news the good news is we're home the bad news is we're sober um, it was such a relaxing um, afternoon actually it was one of those nights where you don't really have anything planned but it just ends up working out perfectly so it's nine o'clock now we're getting Parker's lunch ready for tomorrow we're looking at the new Costco ad y'all it's just it's just constant romance around here you know you guys are looking at my delicious cabinets aren't you I know just Take it all in, it's called Chantilly Lace. It even has a pretty name. So at some point this weekend, hopefully we're gonna get some knobs and handles on here. If we don't, I can't do the big kitchen reveal. So you'll just have to accept this cabinet paneling as, as, a, as a preview. Um, but I can show you some knobs and some handles. All right, so this is our selection of knobs. This is gonna go on any cabinet door. So if it's a door, it's getting a knob. And then if it is a drawer, it's getting a drawer pull or a handle that looks like this. So these aren't technically a set, but they are from the same manufacturer and it's the same type of metal and um, color. So really excited to get these on our awesome cabinets. But you guys, look at this. You can see what's inside of the cabinets. Isn't that exciting? I will do like a kitchen reveal or more of like an in-depth paint color, what um, generation DFW painting did and all of that stuff. Probably at a later date, maybe at the end of this vlog, but I wanted to show you guys kind of the little tidbits that we have going on. But um, most importantly, this is what we have going on right now. This sad little empty space that you see is, uh, being personally victimized by this mouth. <laughs> so he's eating the Homer. This is a Timmy. That's a blueberry streusel. This is lemon pie. This is a Bart Simpson. It's a chocolate donut with Butterfinger. And then that's the Almond Joy donut. So Hertz Donuts is actually a really popular, um, I don't know if it's the South, because I know they're in Austin too and in other states, but it's a very popular donut shop that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I actually tried this during the week when I took some donuts to Parker's job um, and I fell in love and I was telling Parker, I can't stop thinking about this donut, I want it. So then we ended up coming home with six more. All right, you guys, so an update. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Parker is actually working all day, working kind of late, later than usual. So I will be home all day. I'm so excited with my new kitchen. I was telling Parker that I'm thinking, I'm contemplating um, starting a cooking channel, like a cooking only channel where we'll cover topics from you know cooking methods to temperatures to easy recipes to the science behind certain things um, a place where all it is is cooking that's it no beauty no lifestyle just focusing on cooking and I'm so motivated because after doing these two cooking videos recently I was able to crank them out so quickly and it was so exciting it was so fun um so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave the channel link in the description box of this video i don't foresee posting a video there in in like the super near future like in a week but i'm thinking at some point this summer we're launching that channel so if you guys want to be ahead of the game and subscribe um, to cooking break with Danny and just be on top of things then um, I'll leave that link in the description box below um, I promised you guys to show you my dog's dog food this might sound um, Irrelevant to some of you it might not apply but um, three of my dogs had severe skin allergies skin reactions dietary restrictions stuff like that so um, after trying five different dry foods for them. This is the only one that actually worked and improved the quality of their fur or their coat um, and minimized their like secondary issues like um, 
yeast infections and um, itching and all of that just like really uncomfortable misery that they get um, when they eat kind of a poor diet. So let me show you. They basically all eat the same food, but the one that I get for the three little dogs is the senior dog food. So this is the uh, private brand from PetSmart. Simply Nourish is only to PetSmart. It's like their private healthier brand. It's a limited ingredient um, food um, and the focus is um, fish. So it's a salmon and sweet potato. They really seem to enjoy it. It kind of stinks a little bit um, and it comes in really small bites um, or small kibbles. So um, even the littlest dogs can enjoy it. Um, the topple is 13. Where are you topple? The topple. Where are you topple? Yeah, you are. The topple is my oldest. He's 13, but he has all his teeth. In fact, all of my dogs have all their teeth. So that thankfully, thankfully is not an issue yet. And then this is Mern's. Mern gets her own bag because hers is the same recipe, but it's the large breed adult. So the kibble is a lot bigger um, and it's very crunchy and she really likes it. I feel like Mern needs her own channel where she reviews dog treats and toys for you guys. <laughs> Watching Mern eat and eat crunchy food is one of my favorite things. It's one of my simplest pleasures. Like I'll give her a whole carrot or an apple and just watching her eat it is, is one of the best things ever. Anyway, so that's the food I get. Like I said, it's only available at PetSmart, which is why we have to go to two different PetSmarts to pick it up. The senior one is the hardest to find and it only comes in the smaller bags, so it's kind of annoying. My dogs are so funny. When they don't have water, they actually go get me take me to the bathroom, point to their water bowl, and they're like, <laughs> so I'm giving them water right now, but this weekend, okay, so tomorrow I'm gonna work all day. I don't know if we're gonna do anything fun in the evening or afternoon. I don't think so. So I don't know if we're gonna do anything fun in the evening or in the afternoon. And then on Saturday, I have a beauty event to go to in the morning, and then um, I need to do a video um, for JC Penny. At some point on Saturday, this lighting is not doing me any favors. <laughs> um, on Saturday, I have to do a video at the mall with JC Penny, and then Sunday, no plans. So there's several things we need to talk about in this vlog. Several things. But for now, for this Thursday, I'm beat. I'm over it, I'm tired, and I wanna go to bed. I love you. Hey guys, happy Friday. It is about 10.30. Um, I am behind on my day, or rather, I wish I was more ahead on my day um, than I am, because all I've done is answer emails, and the glare on my glasses is getting on my nerves, but now I can't see you guys. Anyway, um, I tried my best to look really pretty for you guys today and uh, it's it's not really it's not it's not really working out so you get to enjoy this um okay so yesterday I told you guys there were some things we needed to talk about in this vlog like I feel like because you see such a small portion of my life like such a small fraction of it that when it comes down to a vlog I just assume y'all are caught up, but you see like an hour of an entire week. <laughs> so it's uh, it's my mistake not including all the details. Now, if you guys have been with me for the last six years, you know that I am extremely calculated with what I share, when I share it, and how I share it. That's not something that's a secret. Um, I don't want it to seem like I, I feel like I'm fooling you by how calculated I am. I know you guys know that too. Um, and I always have been. I always have been from the very beginning because my ex-husband didn't want to be a part of social media. And then we didn't want the boys to be a part of social media. And so it's just become habit that those little nuggets of happiness um, or of personal, sad, uh, traumatic, um, very, very private stuff. We, you know, we keep those little nuggets private or share them um, when it's time to. So with the whole moving bedrooms and beds and all of that stuff, 
I didn't realize how confusing it was, um, but it really wasn't something that we um, anticipated would happen and we didn't want a big reveal. I just pick up where I've left off in my life with you guys. So, you know, there's little bits of the ride that you guys miss out on because you're not with me the whole week, right? And so when I pick up on the vlog, I just pick up where I am and you're like, what's going on, right? Let me drink my greens. Before I get into it, I do wanna say that um, I'm very happy that I have subscribers like you guys, that our little panda community is so respectful of the way that I manage my personal life, of the way that I filter certain things in and out of my life. Um, I appreciate that you guys are so understanding of the privacy that I require when it comes down to um, my previous marriage or my children. With that being said, um, with this relationship, it's so much different because Parker's excited about it. He likes to be a part of it. He loves to help me with my job. Um, albeit he's not a camera natural um, or I don't even know if he enjoys it. I think he enjoys it because it makes me happy. But I don't think being in front of the camera is something that um, he prefers. <laughs> like it doesn't, it's hard to say it without making it sound like he hates it. He doesn't hate it. I just don't think it's his cup of tea, you know? And so whenever I tell him to take over the camera, he gets all like, he tries to be funny and it's, it's just like, you don't need to be, just be yourself. It's vlogging. You could literally just be yourself. Um, but it's just so endearing and so cute and so adorable that he wants to be a part of it. Um, I appreciate it so much. So, okay. The whole moving bedrooms and stuff like that, it's been such a challenging topic to include you guys in because I can't include it without sharing a part of my personal life that is very painful for me. Um, so yes, Parker and his daughters are moving in. Do we have a date? No. Um, it'll be at some point this summer. We want the kids to be on summer break so they could really learn new routines and settle in and just be used to being around each other. Um, the exciting part of all of this is that Parker and I both have 50-50 custody of our children. So they're half, they're half of the time with their dad, my kids, and half of the time with their mom, his daughters. So it'll line up perfectly where we'll have just one-on-one -on -one time with the boys, just one-on-one -on -one time with the girls, and then like shared family time with all the kids. There will also be exciting times where there are no kids. So um, that'll be really fun. The sad part for me is that this is stuff I haven't even shared with my own family um, and I'm putting it on the internet. Now, um, for the history of ever, my relationship with my parents, particularly my mother, has been very challenging. Um, I guess if I were to summarize it, nothing that I do is ever good enough. You know, no choices that I ever make are the right ones. Um, nothing that I ever decide or any choices that I make or anything that I do is the right choice. And so I lived 33 years of my life trying to please my parents and making sure they were proud of me and, you know, just doing things that weren't what I really wanted to do just to make them happy. I feel ultimately, in summary, I've done what I wanted to do, but I've done it in addition to what they wanted me to do. So why did I go to two universities? Because they didn't want me to go to a culinary arts school. They wanted me to go to a regular college because, you know, cooking was beneath me, stuff like that. And so I've had to work twice as hard because I still want to pursue my dreams, but I also don't want to disappoint them. And I think I just got to the point in my life in the last year um, that I don't want to do that anymore. And so I know that the minute I pick up the phone and I tell my mom, hey, I'm super happy. I found the love of my life. I'm getting a second chance at this. I'm really happy. You know, Parker and I were made for each other. Um, it's not going to be well received. And so why am I sharing on the internet? Because I can't stop living my life and sharing with you guys um, because I'm scared to tell my family something, right? Anyway, 
Um, so yeah, Parker and his daughters are moving in. It's such a happy time for us. It's such an exciting time for us. There's so many memories um, that are stitched into this season of our lives that I really want to take the time to enjoy and I want to do them right. And if I don't do them right, I want to be able to learn from, from it and, and do better and be better because I have two little humans more now that are looking up to me and looking towards me and allowing me to be a part of their lives. So it's a big responsibility and I'm taking it very seriously and I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm so happy. And when I look back at times in my life that were supposed to be very profound and very uh, big moments in my life, they were always tainted by either some sort of family drama, disapproval, um, negativity. And so this is kind of something that I want to enjoy and not allow anything to interfere with it. Now, um, when a lot of speculation was made on the whole Parker and I moving in together, um, a lot of the comments that I got were, no, there's no way they're moving in together because Danny said she wouldn't be a bad example for Parker's daughters. Now there's a way to say that comment without making the narrative sound negative or implicative of moral wrongdoing, right? In an assumptions video, I was asked if I would get married again. That was the topic. Would I get married again? And I explicitly said in that video that I never thought about getting married again. I never considered getting married again because I was in a very long marriage and that piece of paper didn't, didn't create the marriage. It didn't stop anyone from doing anything they shouldn't have done. It didn't make the marriage stronger. It didn't, it, that paper meant nothing in my personal situation. I know a lot of people got offended when I said the paper meant nothing, but for me in my personal situation, Marriage is, is, is like, is, it's so special. It's such, it's like the biggest promise you can ever make. Um, and it wasn't, like the vows weren't upheld. They weren't, they weren't respected. And so it was very hard for me to say, yeah, I want to get married again because I'm like, why am I going to go through the trouble of changing my name and combining finances and making all these life choices with someone else when it's going to fall apart? It's not going to mean anything, right? But then you meet someone that makes you rethink that choice that you made and you're entitled to change your mind 49,000 times if you want to. But I explicitly said, I want to set a good example for Parker's daughters now. Let's go back in time to when I was living at home. For me living at home, I came from that background of you can't have sex before marriage, you can't spend the night outside of your home, you can't live on college campus, you live here at home, you leave your house married, you're, you have to be a lady, um, and you have to basically uphold this now to today's standards, really hard standard. Um, if I had lived with my ex-husband before marrying him, I would not have married him. And I feel like as a mother now, as a parent now, I want to give my kids that choice to make for themselves. I want to trust them enough to know that they can make a mistake or they can make the right choice, but it's not up to me to decide what's, what's of high moral standard for them. Because to my parents, it was important that I was niña de casa, you know, like a, a girl of her home where I made good choices, but my parents are also the type that basically wanted to cut off a piece of skin because I got a tattoo. <laughs> so um, I think if I were given that opportunity again to to speak up for myself and to make better choices. Like I was a good kid growing up, you guys. I was so good. I, I did well in school. I wasn't an awful child. I didn't do drugs. I've never tried any drugs. I come from California and I've never, ever, ever come anywhere near like marijuana. <laughs> and I'm not saying that's a rite of passage, but it kind of is in California. <laughs> so I was good. And all I wanted was my parents to trust me. And so now fast forward, to my almost 35 years, 
I don't believe that cohabitating with their father, I'm setting a bad example because they're going to be able to learn what a healthy relationship is, what respect is, what a teammate is, what taking care of the other person is, you know? And again, that piece of paper for them might not mean anything because both of our kids or both of our sets of kids come from divorced parents. So could I teach my kids the best thing about relationships by staying in a loveless marriage? Can I teach them the best thing about relationships by, you know, cohabitating with their dad that's also divorced, that I'm divorced, and by, you know, coming from two broken marriages? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, I've done A, I've done A, I haven't done B, I can't, I can't. And these are all moral decisions and they weigh on me every day, but I'm sure there's a lot of you on the same boat. So I got particularly very bothered by the insinuation that I even said anything remotely close to, I wouldn't live with the girl's dad, with Parker, um, without marrying him, because that's not what I said. And that goes completely against all of my beliefs, particularly because of how I was brought up and raised. And so please understand that these are my personal choices for me, for Parker, for my children, um, different from how I was raised. And if you have a methodology of parenting that's similar to like my parents, that's fine. You know, each of us as parents do what we think is best in our hearts for our children. Am I salty or mad or disappointed in the way I was raised? No. I think it's, it is essential to the person that I've become. You know, I believe in my heart, in the deepest part of my soul, that the way that my parents loved me was the best way they knew how. But now as a parent, I can go back and I can understand that I want to do things differently because I feel like it might make a difference. So um, I, I wanted to make sure that that was understood. I never said that. I never said that in my assumptions video. I said I didn't believe in marriage and then I met Parker and his daughters and I thought, this is a lot more special and important than I'm giving it credit to be. So that was what I said. Are we moving in together um, for any other reason besides love? No. I mean, there is no financial benefit. There is no, um, there's no benefit aside from we need to be together every day. We need to see each other. You know, we need to be around each other. We want to work together. We make an, you know, we make an amazing team. Um, Parker around my sons is such a light. Is such an amazing example of how a man should treat a woman, how a man should um, be independent and self-sufficient and be respectful and be a contributing member of society and have faith and is patient, you know, and is funny and is responsible. Um, I mean, just from the simple things of, you know, committing to his diet Monday through Friday and always exercising and never raising his voice, you know, he just encompasses he makes me want to be a better person. He makes me want to be a better human. He makes me want to be a better Catholic. He makes me want to be a better mom. He, he chills me out. And I think that's very important for someone like me that is all emotion, you know, that flies by the seat of my pants. Um, so I guess to not make this so long because it's already been like 20 minutes. <laughs> Parker is moving in. We don't have a date. Obviously the vlog will be like, Parker's moving in when we do have a date. Um, we're very excited about this time in our lives. Um, I wanted to make sure that you guys understood that I never said that in my assumptions video. I know it was kind of a comment that caught um, a little traction. You know, like, no, she would never do that. She said she was against it. I, I never did. And I really want to make sure you guys know that because like I said, it just, it strikes such a nerve from how I was raised. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm not associated with that kind of parenting. I don't agree with it, but I also don't judge people. 
you know, that do it. Um, I love my parents so much. I miss my parents. I wish they were closer. And I know that the dynamic of parent and child is always gonna be something very challenging because we're always gonna demand freedom and they're always gonna see us as their babies. And I have to respect that because I'm a parent now and I'm gonna be in those shoes very soon. You know, being, being small and little is such a short phase and time in their lives. So I know I'm gonna be in those shoes and I know my kids aren't gonna agree with things that I do, but I wanna also make sure that they know that all of the decisions that I've made have been out of love for them. Um, anyway, enough of that. So that's the update on that. Um, I don't think I've ever shared anything this raw with you guys um, on my channel. And if you guys ever get anything out of me, it's going to be transparency. I've never been scared of my emotions. I've never been scared to speak out loud. I've never been scared to um, say me too, you know, or I have experience on that or hell, I don't know anything about that. I'm just on, you know, I'm just riding the wave just like you are. <laughs> um, so that's that little bit of information. So in the next few weeks, I guess, it'll be official. Right now we're getting a lot of things done here around the house to make it a little more um, Parker Danny family friendly. Um, it's very exciting. Um, you guys are gonna see me do some stuff upstairs today um, with the whole transitioning of bedrooms and stuff like that. So um, I'm so blessed to have the friends that I do, you know, from Nusha to Sam and Veto because they narrate my life so plainly and hold it back up in a mirror that it really gives me the confidence that I need and that push to be able to separate that desire to always wanna make people happy and actually just do things that make me happy. Um, so find some friendships that empower you, that help you rediscover your power and your courage. Um, when I was talking to Sam about um, Parker moving in, I said, you know, I'm so scared because I'm gonna lose my guest room and I know my mom is going to feel like um, I'm breaking up with her or something. Um, and I always want her, even if we're not on good terms, I always want her to know that, I always want her to know, I always need her to know that no matter how I feel about our current relationship. She's my mom, you know? I'm always gonna love her and I'm always gonna miss her and I'm always gonna need her. Um, and uh, I said, I don't wanna make her feel like she's not welcome here anymore and that she can't visit. And Sam <laughs> was so transparent. She's like, how many people do you know that just have a in-laws suite in their home, like a guest room? How many people do you know that have an empty room like 90% of the year just in case their parents, you know, give them the dignity of going to visit them for two nights? And that's what it feels like. If I don't buy my parents plane tickets to come see me, they don't come see me. And when they do come see me, they stay two nights. So she's like, that room is empty. I stay there longer or I visit you more often than your parents do. And she's right. How many of you have an empty guest room for the just in case someone comes to see you? And I was like, I'm misusing my own home that I'm paying the mortgage on um, when it could be used the way it's intended to be used. So um, yeah, moving the bedrooms around is really exciting. I know my boys are very excited. Um, it's going to be a big juggle for us, but there is nothing but excitement, you know, on the horizon for us right now. Anyway, the end on that. Sorry, guys, kind of a heavy topic, but that's what Kale does to me. Um, <laughs> okay, so I really want to show you guys my kitchen reveal, but I don't want to force Parker to put the knobs and the handles on the, on the cabinets this weekend if he doesn't have time to do it. He probably will, but I'm not sure. And so I wanna do a big reveal, like a big old kitchen reveal, once the knobs and the handles are on. The other thing is, 
If you guys saw my previous vlog, I talked about some pink glitter roller skates. I'm not gonna show them again. I'm not gonna talk about too much detail because I want someone that actually wants them to get them. And if you didn't see last weekend's vlog, it pretty much means you just pop in and out of these videos when you want to. I need someone that knows what I'm talking about to get these roller skates. I made a mistake and I said they were seven and a half. So they're actually sevens. So if they were a size bigger, I, you know, I would have replied to your emails, but it's a size smaller, that's a deal breaker. You can't fit into smaller shoes, but you can fit into bigger ones. So if you already sent me an email and a seven would fit or would work, then just copy and paste and resend your email. You don't have to retype anything. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, but you were like, oh shucks, they're a seven and a half, I need a seven, and you're interested, then shoot me an email. I'm just gonna reply to the very first email. Um, it has to be US. Um, I'll ship them to you. They're a size seven. They're awesome. They're amazing. Anyway, enough about that. We need to go upstairs because we need to move some kitty stuff around this house. And as much as I need to film today, I'd rather kind of get this out of the way. And I don't think I'm going to hang anything up today. So my son's rooms, you guys have seen them before. They have all that like superhero artwork on the walls. I think I'm just going to take it all down and then prep it so that it's ready to go. Um, in their new bedroom. In the new bedroom, I still have the king size mattress and the twin mattress. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that stuff, you guys. <laughs> this whole musical chairs thing is getting very challenging. Hey, you guys. Okay, so this is the current state of my life. Um, I have spent all day moving furniture. So Parker was at work all day, and um, when he leaves me unattended, I make a lot of decisions and um, sometimes they're very hard. <laughs> so I saw this um, meme on Instagram the other day that said um, there is, it says something like there is nothing stronger than a woman that's alone and wants to move furniture or something like that. <laughs> it was so true. I don't know how I moved so many dressers and nightstands and disassembled and reassembled furniture. So I took a shower. This is my, my voluptuous, delicious air dried hair. Um, and so Parker comes home from work. We just kind of catch up on our day. We have, um, you know, I think one of the things that we stay so close is that we have real conversations, not just like, Hey, how was your day? Was it good? Okay, good. I missed you. It's like the real conversations. Like, how was your day? What does it mean? How do you feel? Where are we going? Like the hard hitting questions about our children and finances and decisions. And I really value those conversations that we have together, but we kind of let the day get away from us. And then we both realized we were starving. So we ordered from one of our favorite Uber Eats places. You can probably guess, it's not tacos actually. Um, we got rockfish. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna get. We're gonna watch a movie. And then if I don't fall asleep, I will um, show you the upstairs. If I do fall asleep, I'll show it to you tomorrow. But tomorrow's gonna be super exciting because we get to go to a beauty event together. Parker's gonna be my plus one. And then we have to do a really cool video for JCPenney at a JCPenney. So that'll be fun. But for now, do you wanna see what we got for food? Some of it's gonna be a, a surprise because it's like unmarked little tubs. So kind of excited. Okay, ready. All right, you guys. So we ordered rockfish and the free gift with purchase was a Wesley. Um, I got... As per usual, I got the tilapia. Look at how big that tilapia is. I got a tilapia, asparagus, and it comes with orzo. And then Parker, Parker got the salmon, but he got it blackened. Look how juicy it is. And then he got Brussels, which I'm gonna eat all of his Brussels because look, it has cranberries and carrots. And then he also got some orzo. And then what do we have in here? Oh, I can't do it with one hand. Bird, back up, sister. Hey, 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 nope. Uh-uh, nope. Oh, this is Parker's um, uh, red beans and rice. And then, what do we have here? Oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, I'm gonna make a mess. Ooh, we got some gumbo. That's actually really good. Don't judge it by its color. I mean, is gumbo ever pretty? I don't think it ever is. And then, Clam chowder. So that's our dinner for now, and we're gonna sit in front of the TV and watch a cool movie. I don't think I've ever showed you this. This is actually a new piece of furniture. Um, I got 
this on Amazon. Can you believe it? So it is a TV console with sliding barn doors. This is probably one of my favorite and Tatopo's favorite um, Amazon finds. I think it was like $200. It comes in like 97 pieces. It takes you a very long time to assemble, but I think it's really, really cute. And it comes in three different lengths. So if you have a bigger wall to fill or a bigger TV, um, it'll totally work. I love the color too. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like a grayish, beigey, vanilla color. And the doors, they're fully functional barn doors. Look at that. Isn't that cool? See, Wesley likes it too. Anyway, I'm hungry, bye. What you doing? Are you getting all the snuggles? Man, this dog, this dog is spoiled. Spoiled, spoiled. Hey, hey you guys, good morning, happy Saturday. Um, I'm probably gonna have lipstick on my teeth, but can we talk about this full face of makeup? I don't remember the last time I put on this much makeup. I said that in the last vlog, but this is like twice as much as I was wearing in that vlog. Um, it was one of those mornings where I was like, I'm just gonna bust out this palette and just use a little bit of it, and then I end up doing all of this. Okay, so it is a little bit after nine. We have to head over to downtown to City Hall Bistro for a brunch that Glow Recipe is hosting. So that'll be super fun. Um, I didn't know what to wear because it's like 75 degrees, but we have that really creepy weather right now where it's dark and super windy and it might hail or there might be a storm or there might be something, but not really. It's like threatening to come, but I keep getting alerts, like weather alerts on my phone and nothing's happening. Anyway, so we have to be there at 10. And then after that, we're gonna go to a local JCPenney and do a little bit of filming there. Um, I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. I didn't know how to dress today because of the weather. Full circle, finally. I'm finally finishing my train of thought. <laughs> All of that just to say, um, I'm not really convinced about my outfit, but I'm comfortable and I guess it's all that matters. <laughs> you guys always ask me about all the jewelry that I wear and it's always linked in every vlog. Um, the amount of comments that I get regarding certain things that you see in the vlogs, they're always linked, always, whether it's some pants or some shoes. And if I haven't linked it, it's because I can't find it anymore or it's old. Anyway, so OOTD. So I told you guys that it might rain, so I want it to be comfortable, um, which is why I'm wearing suede shoes. <laughs> Clearly I thought this through. I'm just wearing a simple chambray shirt from Target. It is old, but I think you guys can still find it. It's from that brand Morona. Um, these are little cigarette pants from Express that I got um, around Valentine's Day. You guys, this belt is from Express, but I actually got it with my own money when I was like 17. I was a student worker for the local school district and I was in love, but they only had the um, extra large size. So I had to take it to a shoe cobbler to cut about half of it off. So the leopard obsession has always been very, very strong. <laughs> and then these shoes that we've talked about before um, from M. Jemmy. So that's what we got going on. Y'all, I'm super hungry, like starving. I know you're not supposed to pig out at these events, but it might happen. Um, I don't know what time I have to be at JCPenney. I mean, it's not like the store is coordinating it. It's more like they know I'm coming and we'll be filming, so it won't be weird. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> well, it'll definitely be weird for me and everyone else there, but they know that I'm gonna be there um, doing some footage. But I think I might regret dressing like this later. I think I might get hot, but you know, we're gonna do our best. Anyway, that's it. Um, if you guys are wondering about my eyeshadow, it is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. The lip color that I'm wearing is actually one of my super favorites. Um, it's called Chocolate Lust from L'Oreal. I think it's L'Oreal or Maybelline. Whatever, you guys. I think it's the same company anyway. Don't say I said that. <laughs>
8.30, so we're back on the road. The event was so much fun. Um, I got to meet Christine, which is one of the co-founders of um, Glow Recipe. She actually explained the products to us, like why it was created that way, why the bottles are the way they are, how the, um, how Korean skincare or K-beauty is infused into the product, but it's still more of a main, mainstream, trendier product. So, um, from ways to store your serum so that it doesn't expire or oxidize, and it was just fascinating. I'll have to talk to you guys about it more later. But, because this handsome man over here was my plus one, he actually got a goodie bag, and so what we decided to do is host a little giveaway. So this giveaway is thanks to Parker. Um, we got a little goodie bag with um, some newer products from Glow Recipe. There's one that I'm actually really, really excited to try. I haven't even heard of it. I think it's a newer product, but I'm going to show you guys what you're going to get. So this is the exciting product. So this is the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. It's a gentle cleanser, but it's a deep cleanser. And she was telling us that a lot of us don't wash our face the right way, believe it or not. So um, she needs your hands to be wet, your face to be wet, and you need to wash with the cleanser in your hands for one minute minimum. She was saying something about like the study that they did where there's still like soap residue and dirt residue if you don't wash for at least a minute. And she also said that this cleanser could be unnecessarily abrasive if you don't have wet surfaces that you're using first, so your hands and your face. So there's that. You're also gonna get the Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. This is like your daily moisturizer, so this goes, I think this is the very last step. We also have the newest two products, the Pineapple Serum and the Watermelon Glow Mist, which actually, both of these smell really good. So she was saying that the um, Watermelon products have 90% Watermelon and the Pineapple one, do you remember the number? I think she said 60% juice. Wow, really that much? Yeah, 60% pineapple juice, and you have to store it in a dark room. It can't be in direct light, any kind of light, whether it's LED bulb, sunlight, anything. It has vitamin to be. C. Yeah, because of the vitamin C. Um, you have to store it in a dark, cool place. Um, and then the two products, the last two products, would be the um, watermelon mask and the avocado mask. One of the first products that I tried from Glow Recipe was the avocado mask. So, thanks to the P, one of you guys is going to win all of these products. So, I will leave the details on how to enter this Parker hosted giveaway um, in the description box below. It'll be easy, obviously. Um, but right now, we're on our way to JCPenney. So, when you guys see this vlog, in the next few weeks, I'm gonna be doing a sponsorship with um, JC Penny. So basically the whole campaign is um, centered around uh, the summer season. So fashion that's available at JC Penny. So we are going to go to JC Penny. We're going to find some cute summer um, outfits. And then I'm also going to go take a little bit of footage at the Sephora inside JC Penny. So it'll be super fun. I won't put any of that footage um, in this vlog, but I will link the videos in the description box below so you guys can go check them out. There's going to be a video on my channel, and then there's also going to be a video on the JC Penny channel. And then I don't know what we're going to do later today, but Parker said he wants to install the cabinet knobs and handles. So hopefully we can get that done because I bet it's going to look so good. So good. Maybe we should do a cooking video just so we can show you the new knobs and drawer pulls. Just like, what do you think? I don't see one. <laughs> Alright you guys, I think I've done enough damage for today. Let's go home and I'll show you what I got. You guys, so we finally wrapped up at JCPenney. It's 2 o'clock and look at the state of the city. Good. Oh my gosh, it is pouring. Like there was tornado sirens and stuff while we were inside the store. I think we did a good job. I'm very excited. And can we please talk about all the stuff that I was able to buy under $200? Holy mackerel, I'll make sure, and you guys even hear me, 
That's how loud it's raining. I'll make sure to link those two videos in the description box below because I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. But for now, Parker and I are like shaky. We're so hungry and we're a little cranky. It was kind of stuffy in the store. There were so many people. So it's just nice to be out. Fresh air, kind of getting soaking wet. Do you guys wanna know one of my proudest moments? So I didn't think my outfit through today and I wore suede shoes. So Parker was really sweet. He went to get the car to pick me up in front of the store and I did this. <laughs> I put my shoes in my bag and I ran to the car. <laughs> anyway, we're probably gonna go get some coffee, maybe something to eat. We're gonna go home. I still have some work to do, but I think we're just gonna stay in, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> not, not worth going out today. <laughs> risky but you know what tomorrow it's gonna be like 90 degrees and sunny so we're gonna go work on our Mexico tan at the peas house hey you guys so I told you guys about the weather right look at it outside it is awful in fact this entire restaurant is flooded and yet we're still sitting in here eating this is the very first time Parker and I come to snappy salad so the weather outside is like, oh, let's eat some chili or gumbo or hot soup, but it's like 80 degrees outside. So it was very confusing what we should eat, right? So we ended up getting steak salad. Well, you got like a taco salad? Taco salad. And then I got a steak salad? So I got like a build your own salad and it has gorgonzola, steak, spinach, some spring greens. There's a couple tomatoes and cranberries in there. Parker ordered off the menu, and I think he made the wiser choice. Look at how good that looks. It's just iceberg lettuce. Yeah, it's like a whole head of lettuce. The whole head of lettuce. It's huge. It's as big as my head. <laughs> Can you model for me again? <laughs> oh, you're fine. So we are at Snappy Salads. Look at you guys. The whole restaurant is flooded. That's how hard it's raining. So it was raining at the restaurant and all the water came in. But for now, we're gonna enjoy this, then we're gonna go home and cuddle some dogs and just hang out at home for the rest of the day. Weather, there, we have no business being outside. You guys, I don't know what time it is, but we got home and I told Parker, I wanna wash my face. And I may have accidentally fallen asleep. And I also may have accidentally placed an order for a hot cookie delivery. If you guys are in an area that delivers Tiff's treats, y'all need to order some because they're so good. It's such a cool business story too. So it was like a college, it was like a college project um, in Austin and it just took off and now you get warm cookies delivered to you and it's awesome. Um, we ordered chocolate, pecan, peanut butter and white chocolate almond you want to see it's probably not the best thing that we're watching a movie that's about parasites infecting your body but whatever i mean warm cookies look at that see the box it's like a really special box that keeps the cookies warm so this is the white chocolate what are you trying to get in on this action you guys yeah you are what are you doing did you climb up here all by yourself old man we got white chocolate um white chocolate almond peanut butter, and, oh, you wanna introduce the third cookie? That is chocolate chip pecan, pecan, how do you guys say, pecan or pecan? Is it pecan or pecan? What do you think, huh? So, it wouldn't be a good video if I didn't do a taste test, but look how warm they are. Do you see, it's like flopping, cause they're so soft, ah, it's falling apart, oh my gosh. Warm cookies, you guys. I know this is probably not the best thing for dinner. We'll just consider it like a, a pre-dinner snack. Hey, you guys. So we're staying up pretty late on this wild Saturday night because that's how romantic we are. Um, and Parker's like, hey, do you want to do the drawer pulls and the knobs? And I was like, duh. It's almost 9 o'clock. You guys are looking at my fridge, aren't you? Yes, that is a giant pair of Google eyes. There is an actual romantic story behind it that maybe I'll tell you at a later date. But when I told Parker that I had ordered the knobs and the handles, um, he goes, oh, okay, cool, let me order this jig. And I was like, an Irish jig? No, so apparently it's this tool that makes it easy to mark all the doors and drawers at once. It's like magic. You know what I would have done? I would have taken a ruler and been like, one inch, one inch, draw with a pencil. One inch, one inch, draw with a pencil. 
but that's just me. And then look at this fancy thing. He's gonna give you a whole presentation on it. All right, Parker LaRue, what do we got here? So here's our jig. This is a jig. Yeah, this is a jig. See the little holes Is here? it actually called a jig? Holes there? Yes, it is actually called a jig. Oh. J-I-G, jig. So what you do is, is you can just, this is infinitely movable. Everything will move wherever you want it. And what you do is you just line up the holes to where you want to drill. Is this just to mark or do you drill with this thing on? You can actually do both, but I think I'm going to use it to mark and then put just it down drill. and then drill the, the So hole. mark everything first, right? Yeah, mark everything first. Just knock it out. So right here we decided this is where we like the pool. I like that you said a we. We. Yeah. <laughs> you. Okay. <clears throat> and we put a mark about where we liked it. So mm -hmm. I just dialed in the jig <laughs> to fit exactly where that mark is. Let's verify. We need some verification. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see, move it. Oh, snap! Look at that. Yeah. So now we can go from door to door and mark all the right hands. I was just gonna ask. I'm like, only rights. And then Didn't then you? Yeah, and then we're done with the rights. We'll flip it and do the left. Can you just flip it though? Or yeah. it doesn't work like that? <clears throat> Let's see. We flip it. Put it this way. Like on the left doors? Yep. yep. Would it be the same? It's gonna be pretty close, but we're gonna do some measuring to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Measure twice, drill once. So, what you may not know about Parker yet is he's kind of a nerd. Um, but like a sexy nerd, but like a nerd. Um, which is one of my favorite things about him. Um, and it's funny because I never realized I was kind of a nerd too. Like, I always knew I was a little nerdy, but then, like today, we went to that restaurant that was completely flooded. And I told Parker, I was like, they should just use a squeegee. He's like, I know, I have a squeegee. And I was like, I have a squeegee. Do you guys have a giant squeegee at your house? Like, most people don't. Like a big, giant floor squeegee. We both have one. So we're those people. A lot of you guys ask me about my knives. You're like, how come your knives are pointing down? It's so dangerous. Like, you don't store them that way. Y'all, I know that. When you guys have a knife um, magnet or like a tool magnet like that that I have mounted, um, you want to store your knives with the handle side down so that it's easy access. I have my knives like that for two reasons. And I wanted to talk about this and I always forget. The first reason is I have little ones. And in the time that it'll take them to climb, get a chair or a stool or whatever to grab the knives, I'll already be onto them. And then two, the knives are hung right next to the stove or rather above the stove. There's enough distance right there where the knife handles don't get hot. If I were to flip them, the handles will get hot because the steel runs all the way through the handle of the knife. So I wanted to get that out there because a lot of you guys are like, you don't even know what you're doing. Oh, trust me, I know what I'm doing. I mean, I found this one, am I right? <laughs> we're back to the nerdiness. Look again, see here, got the, got it marked there. Uh-huh. So now I'm just gonna flip. Oh. Put it on this other one. So you're dating a nerd too, Parker. Check you out. Marked here. And now you're gonna measure and compare? Yeah, look how even they are. And I've already measured and compared. They're actually, they, so what they are, are you uniform. So what are you saying, I'm right? I'm saying you're right. You're totally right. You guys, this is on video. So smart. Evidence. <laughs> hey, Mern, go get your tool belt. You gotta help, we're tagging you in. Come on, Parker needs help. Look at this one. He has not left Parker's side all day since we got home. Pretty sure you're gonna trip over him at some point. Okay. Hi. Are you helping Parker? You guys are matching. You're both wearing you're both wearing black shorts. Yes you are. Why are you so special? Are you my special boy? Yes you are, my special old man. Hey, do you wanna send a special hello to Apricot, your girlfriend in Australia? Say hey Cotty girl, I miss you. I hope you're feeling good. Hey, Mern, who are you gonna say hi to? You need a boyfriend, Mern. We gotta find you a boyfriend. Where do you want a boyfriend? Do you want one in like Korea? Do you want a boyfriend in Switzerland? What are you feeling? We need to get you an international boy. What can you be a girlfriend? A girl <laughs> oh, Mern, you want a girlfriend? I don't care, as long as you're happy, my sweet girl. Yes, as long as you're happy, my sweet angel face. You guys, are you ready for the big reveal? You can kind of see it a little bit behind me. We did have this brief moment of panic where we were like, oh, 
we did something wrong, but it was just a simple, like the screw was going into the wrong hole kind of thing. <laughs> because once you make holes in the wood, you can't, you can't fix, oh my God, I don't, I'm sorry you guys. It's almost 11 o'clock in my defense and uh, this, is as, this is as good as it's gonna get. So it's totally different. It's a totally different kitchen, my goodness. All right, you guys, it's such a minor detail, something you wouldn't even think about if your house doesn't come with knobs or poles, right? It's such a simple detail, but once it's on the cabinets, it just elevates it so much more. Like, isn't that crazy? Look, oh, you want, you'd like some wine? All right, well, let me open the door for you. Oh, there we go. There are the wine glasses. Oh, you want some champagne instead? Hold on a second. Oh, there we go. So would you, do you need a Ziploc? I can get you a Ziploc. Hold on, let me grab my drawer pull. <laughs> we got all kinds of storage bags. Oh, you want um, glassware? Just one second, please. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, how? Beautiful are these. We were almost about to pick different handles and pulls all together because these only come in the three and a half length and we thought they would look a little silly on these really big drawers that we have under the stove. But they actually look so good and even the position. Do you see how they're in the center in the center of the drawers? And here we did the center but the top. Oh my gosh. So I guess that's the official kitchen reveal. That's the official kitchen reveal because that's all we're gonna do. We did the knobs, we did the drawer pulls, we changed the paint, we painted the cabinets, and that's it. And we added the googly eyes. So our kitchen is done. I'm so happy, you guys. It just feels so good to be in here. It feels happier and more open. It even feels bigger. Do you guys like it? I'm in love. I'm in love, but I'm also, you know what else I, I, I am? I'm also exhausted. Like, when do I stay up past 11? <laughs> Today, because of drawer pulls. <laughs> I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Sunday, so it's been a hot minute. I haven't checked in today. Y'all saw us make breakfast with all the leftovers we had at home. I mean, leftover mushrooms, leftover steak from Parker's lunch, um, the last little bit of eggs we had left. Um, what else did we throw in there? Onions, chopped up onions from last weekend's party where we did the tacos. <laughs> it was like an everything but the kitchen sink breakfast scramble that we did today. So it's currently one o'clock. This is my JCPenney haul. I just did intros and outros for those videos that I need to do in the upcoming weeks. Um, right now, Parker's outside grilling, and then we're actually gonna head over to his house because we're gonna work on our tan for Mexico. It's a beautiful day. Do you guys remember the weather yesterday? Okay, so X that. Today it's about 90 degrees, full on direct sun. No sign of a single cloud in the sky. I tried to do the same exact makeup I did yesterday and I think I nailed it. I wanna say I nailed it. And it's been like a year since I did a makeup picture to post on my Instagram, so I might do that later today. I'm feeling a little wild. <laughs> so um, how cute are all these things that I got at JCPenney, including this shirt, including these shorts, including those shoes. You guys are not gonna believe it. I bought six head to toe outfits for under $200. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, including that bag. You see that round bag right there? So you guys get to see that in the next week or two. Definitely 
two. I don't know. I don't know when I'm posting this one. Whatever. I'll link it if it's live. Y'all know the drill. So right now I need to touch base with Parker, let him know I'm done so that we could head out the door because I think I want to do some of these outfits. Um, I think I want to take pictures or some video footage with these outfits at his house instead of my house. You know, just keep it fresh for you guys. But that's it. I'm out of breath. I'm thirsty. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. And I think I'm hungry again because it is one o'clock, you guys. Um, but that's it for right now. Do you guys want to go say hi to Parker? Or better yet, do you want to see um, my knobs and drawer pulls? I bet you do. Where is Lamerne? All right, y'all. In case you forgot, these are my drawer pulls. These are my knobs. Oh, oh, do you need something from in here? Sure, let me get it for you. Oh, do you wanna clean my counters? There we go. That's what we got going on there. This is my dishwasher. This is Parker meal prepping. This is Lamern stretching. Hi, Lamern. No, 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 no. Ooh, smoky. You have me a surprise? Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Hey, you guys, just here for a little check in. So, Parker was so sweet. He just helped me do all of my outfit shots um, for the JCPenney video that I was talking to you guys about. It looks so good. I'm so excited to show you guys. But right now, it's pool time. So yesterday, you guys saw the weather, it was crazy. The sky was falling, basically, and it was a little chilly. Today, it's 80 degrees, it's sunny, and we are going to maximize our pool usage and our tanning before Mexico, because I don't wanna to go to Mexico looking like a pale little white duck. You know what I'm saying? So let me show you guys where we get to hang out for the next few hours. I think we'll probably be here until like five or six, because, um, Parker wants to watch the very last episode of Game of Thrones, which means nothing to me, but you know I have to watch it so that I could say I watched it, even even, even though it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Look at how nice it is out here. He even got a little giraffe towel for me. So this is Parker's backyard. He's lived here forever in a day. Um, and so he has a really beautiful pool with a little water fountain, but this pool um, isn't heated, so the only temperature you get is whatever the sun gives it. It's kind of like you're gonna get whatever body I give you for the summer, bikini bod. It's like it's gonna get whatever temperature Dallas sun gives you. But we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit um, on these little lawn chairs over here. But we brought a special guest with us. I don't know if you've seen her. Sophie girl! Selfie girl! Selfie girl! Say hi to everybody! Tell them you've had a rough few days. So we brought you here so you could decompress, get a little break, not feel so stressed out. She's been a little stressed, a little manic. She's been extra nervous recently. I was telling Parker, could you imagine what it feels like to live in a home where you're just constantly nervous or scared that something might happen to you? You know, we try our best to keep them separate and to give her enough love and pay attention to her, but it can get a little stressful for her at times. So we just brought her by herself to hang out with us for a little bit, get her son on too. She loves to sunbathe. So we'll hang out here. Parker went to get some Wendy's for us. We're gonna eat some salads and hang out by the sun and perhaps get a little color on this pale little chicken leg. Hi, Sophie girl. Yeah, hey. Look, even Sophie has a tan. If you guys see through her fur, she has a nice little delicious tan. You guys! Just got home. I have a very important question to ask you guys. Um, do I look more tan to you? <laughs> if, if anyone's new around here, God bless you. If anyone's new around here, you probably don't get the tan joke, but we bring it out every summer, so... Um, our life goal is to have a tan during the summer, I guess. Um, for some reason, it's very important to me. It's also very important to Lamern, to Bunker LaRue. 
Um, so we just got home from Parker's house. We spent a little time in the sunshine. He helped me get some work done. But we're home now and we're just gonna relax. And apparently the thump was gonna cough up a storm over there. It's time to relax. Tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow is madness. Tomorrow is back to regularly scheduled programming with the boys, the girls, and work and all that stuff. So um, I think I'm gonna cut this vlog short because we're just gonna relax the rest of the evening. Um, we got a lot of stuff done, but I don't think we got as much done as we thought we would. Um, it's kind of a heavy vlog. We talk about some really important things, really special things, really big moves, which is really exciting. Plus, y'all got to see my finished kitchen, which is kind of my favorite thing about everything right now. Um, I did, before I let you guys go, I did want to show you guys my makeup. So I was in direct sun sweating sweating my face off in direct sun. You could see all the little greasiness around my face. Um, trying to get my tan on. I know, I know. I wore sunblock, you guys. Um, but I'm trying this new makeup product. I hauled it in my JCPenney haul. You guys, if you are looking to follow the hype on a beauty product right now. If you are looking for something to be excited about in the beauty community that has nothing to do with drama, if you are looking for a makeup product that is gonna rock your socks off, change your life, and have you more than prepared for summer and your makeup not melting off your face, I'm gonna show you a product you need. Like, you need to run out and believe the hype because I mean, this is evidence. I was in direct sunlight, you guys. Direct sunlight. I even had my sunglasses on. So, look at my eyeshadow, my makeup, my foundation, my eyebrows, my contour. Everything is fully intact thanks to this product. Right, Wesley? You gonna show them? Do you want to show them? You want to show them the makeup product, or do you want to show them your back rolls? Like, what is it? You want to show them your cinnamon rolls? All right, let's show them. Let's show everyone the cinnamon rolls. And your little Polly Pocket back here. Yep, that's right. Look at all these rolls. Oh, those are the nicest rolls I've ever seen. All right, y'all. If you guys want a product that is going to rock your socks off, knock your socks off, whatever, you guys. Um, this. Believe the hype. This is the new Huda Beauty. Um, make look at the camera's trying to focus on on Wesley. It's the Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray. Holy moly mackerel of the world of the universe. This stuff, not only does it smell amazing, it actually works. This stuff, Wesley, tell them. Tell them, Wesley. Tell them they need to believe the hype. This stuff is magic. I mean, full on magic, magic, magic. I must admit, um, I was a little annoyed. I was struggling with the hype because... I don't know. You guys know how I feel about beauty and makeup and the whole community right now. And for the last, I would say, like year and a half, I've been very disillusioned. I've been disappointed. I think it's about being salacious and being dramatic and selling people out and just, you know, following trends that aren't reasonable and things like that. And so it just... It gets a little frustrating to want to even review any beauty products. It gets frustrating trying to support beauty brands and things like that when, you know, they get involved in drama and stuff like that. So I've been a little hesitant to try new products, but I just had to. And I had to because my Skindinavia Bridal Setting Spray, which is my favorite, and then my second favorite is the one from Urban Decay, the All Nighter Spray. That's my second favorite. Um, they work, but they still leave me something to desire. You know, like they're good, but they still leave something. They, they, it's like when you have a meal and you like it, but you're still kind of craving something afterwards. That's kind of how I feel about those two sprays. <sighs> this is a full meal. <laughs> Cravings and all satisfied. Like, do I need to show you again? Like, I hate bringing you this close to my face, but I was sweating. Like, a, I would use a very vulgar expression right now if I could. I was sweating in the sun, gross, disgusting. You could see all my hair, all the natural curls are coming out because I was sweating and all wet and gross. Um, it works, it's so good. It is so good and I'm so happy that I have a 20% off Sephora 
coupon in my email right now because I might need to get a second. <laughs> Summer's here, you guys, and I want to look cute with my makeup, okay? Anyway, that is it for this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was an extra day long. I hope that's okay. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I really hope that you guys liked it. Um, I hope at least you found it entertaining. Um, I will leave a list of all of the stuff that I showed you, um, of all the places that we went, in the description box below. Um, if my JCPenney videos are live, I'll link those. Um, anything that we talked about in this video, you guys know. I look out for you. I love you guys so much. And you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up behind this amazing setting spray. And subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys. Oh, you want to say goodbye? Oh, oh, you want to say goodbye? You want to say goodbye to your friends? You want to say goodbye? Do you want to try this new, this new setting spray? Do you want to try this new setting spray? Because it's so good. It is so good. Popo, diles bye-bye. Diles bye-bye to amigos. Popo. Oh, you too? All right. Oh, do you want to say goodbye? Oh, you want to say goodbye? Wesley, say bye to your friends. Popo, say bye to your friends. Say bye to your friends. Say thank you for watching. I'll see you later.